A faction of opposition Citizens Coalition for Change CCC has announced Bulawayo-based Welshman Cube's elevation to party president from deputy. With reports another of the now numerous factions had appointed veteran Jameson Timba as leader in Cube's Saturday appointment is a testament to the chaos that is persisting in CCC following former President Nelson Chamisa's resignation. Chamisa quit the movement earlier this month having noted ZANU-PF's hand in its operations through infiltrating and a clear loss of authority in the eyes of courts and ministries. Cube's new position will be rotated between the opposition party's three vice presidents Tenai Bigi, Lynette Karini Ikore, all of whom have been given a rotational 90-day reign. Having met and deliberated on various matters affecting the party, and having noted the resignation of Chamisa as president of the party, the Citizens Coalition for Change National Standing Committee NSC resolved to fill in the vacancy left by Chamisa by appointing an acting president. Reads a release by Jacob Mafume. Mafume is the party's acting communications secretary, following a decision by the NSC to revert to 2019 structures. The acting president position will be held by the three vice presidents. On a 90-day rotation basis, until the party goes to an elective Congress. By record of the May 2019 Guerra Congress, and within the context of the leadership of the party as of January 22, 2022, Cube is the most senior of the vice presidents. As a consequence thereof, the NSC resolved to, with immediate effect, appoint Cube as the acting president. The appointment of the acting president and the resumption of duties by all office bearers based on 2019 structures marks the beginning of an uninterrupted path to restore stability and democracy within the party.